Hey everyone, welcome back to My Hobby Workshop. Today I'm gonna to be doing a full build review video on Ravel's 66 Chevy Fleet Side Pickup. That's right, uh, this is gonna be my very first video where I'm taking you guys through the process with me and we're gonna be showing how this thing goes from start to finish. Uh, this kit is a skill level four. Uh, it has 112 parts. So I would say this isn't for your amateur modeler or very beginner modeler. Um, but let's go through the parts and then we'll uh, Start gluing some things together. First up is the cab, uh, very nicely molded. I do see some flash in some areas, but nothing crazy. So pretty good mold right there. And then here is the bed of the truck. Uh, you can see it's got that wood grain. I don't know if you could see that. Um, so that'd be fun to paint and put together. I'm definitely probably not going to have this truck be a rusted out. I haven't really decided everything yet, but I'm not going to have this thing as a rusty beater that's been sitting there for, you know, 50 years riding in a field, but I'm also not going to have it pristine off the showroom floor either. I don't really normally do those. It'll probably be somewhere in the middle. Um, so here it looks like there's your tailgate. Um, this is the back part of the cab. The cab is comes in two pieces, as you can see here. So that's what this goes to. Got your four wheels, and then you have your spare here. Um, so everything looks nice. This is where your spare goes underneath the truck. Um, let's see. Here you have suspension, rear suspension. Um, looks like this is your hood. And this is that front valence right here on the truck. Uh, I think that's the, the hood joints. So when it opens up, so like under here. But I'll have to check and see. There's your steering wheel. Uh, pretty basic truck. Uh, I'm not a big fan of chrome, so I probably won't have this thing chromed out. Uh, some models I will, but not on this one. So here's your chassis. Um, pretty big. It's your radiator. Um, let's see. Here's your bench seats. Right here, your basic door panels, your engines, big V8, Chevy. This would be a nice red color. Um, old Chevy red. And there's the inside of the cab. Uh, molding's really nice. And this is the roof part. So right, right here. So if you decide to do that two-tone and you want to do that, it makes painting a little bit easier. You can paint that separately. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a two-tone color. I might do a solid color. Just depends on how I decide to go with the build. Um, there's your exhaust, your fan. Took some uh, springs. Here's your chrome tree. Chrome actually looks pretty good. Um, I would dull it down a little bit if I kept it chrome. I don't know if I'm going to or not. Probably won't. But um, yeah, I might do like a, a flat white. I'm not sure. I can do some reference pictures online and see kind of how I want to go. Um, let's see. Here are your tires. Come with four tires. Got your, your heavy white walls. On the other side, if you want to just do bare, they're not labeled or anything. They're not Goodyear. They're just uh, white wall or plain. Um, not really sure. I don't know if I want to do white walls or not. I might use these for another kit and take take these out of a different kit. Um, and got your clear your tail lights. So there, and then I always like to keep these in the plastic until I use them, just so it doesn't scratch. Uh, and get any messed up or anything. And our, it does come with some decals. Some guys call them decals. So as you can see here, uh, you have John's Dairy Fresh Market Farm and Red Orchards and Fresh Market, if I wanna make this a work truck. Um, here's the decals for the wood bed. I don't know if I'm gonna use the decals in the back. I'm probably gonna paint it up to make it look a little worn out. Um, so you got your, your two plates, looks like a, a Michigan plate there and a Illinois farmer plate, um, your, your dash. And, uh, looks like this is for the seats. 
Uh, if I remember in instructions, it said that it had seats like that. So I don't know if I'm going to use that. I may, I may try to make it actually look like fabric on the seats because that's what I, I've from reference pictures it looks like. It's some type of throw rug or something on it. So I might use like a some type of fabric to give it that material look and then maybe place this over it. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But um, so yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Uh, like I said, there's a lot of pieces. I, I'm probably going to make this into a, a work truck of some kind, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start doing some gluing. Uh, actually, I'm going to wash everything first. Then I'm going to get some, put some parts together, glue them together. That everything's going to be uh, primered. And um, I'll bring you back once I have, once we prep for some paint. So talk to you soon. Hey everyone, quick update. Uh, got everything prepped and ready for paint. Just kind of wanted to go over what I did real quick. Uh, I did get the motor basically ready for paint. All this is going to be done in flat black to provide some shadows. So I got all that glued up, good to go. Um, the tailgate got on the, on the bed, uh, and the rear taillight assembly is all put on there as well. That way they could all be sprayed as one color. Um, and then the bed, or the cab, excuse me, I put the backing on here. Now, when I was putting this on, if you do decide to do this kit, um, don't panic. If you see like gaps here, I did a couple test fittings on the frame and when it's on the frame, you won't even see it because the bed literally sits pretty much just like that. So you won't see those gaps. Uh, so I, I thought I was going to have to pull out some like putty or something and clean that up, but it looks pretty good. So uh, mold lines on here, I didn't, I saw maybe one or two, nothing crazy. So I didn't really have to do a lot of sanding to kind of clean that up. Some people do that. I like to. Some people don't, but so yeah, uh, about to jump into some paint, going to primer it and get some painting done and then put some, get some more assembly. So uh, I'll provide another update here shortly.
Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, just want to give you another quick update of, of where I'm at. I know you saw me putting some paint on some things, so this is kind of where we're at. Um, I got my interior done. I really like that old man brown that I'm going for. I think it, it's coming out and looking really good. Um, dashboard, you can see all those details are going to pop once I start to get in there and highlight and go over some things. So I think it, it's going to look really, really nice once I'm done. Um, I got... Got the motor done, uh, that uh, Chevy red, and then um, the accent highlights with that black primer. So it gives it a little bit of depth and shadows and even kind of makes it look a little used. So I like how that came out. Um, everything else is basically going to be black on the truck. Anything that needs color, I'm going to go in and hand paint. Um, I got the exhaust done. That's obviously looks like it's brand new. You can see, uh, I think it came out really good but I am gonna dirty it up and make it look like it's been used and, and all that fun stuff. So um, as you can tell, I'm not done with the body. Uh, I did go over or gave it a rust primer look. Uh, and what I plan on doing is I'm going to use the hairspray technique where you prime the body with a rust color, you spray hairspray on it, um, then you spray the normal color that you want on it, and then you take a toothbrush with some warm water and you hit the spots on it where you want rust to show through and that warm water should dissolve the hairspray taking off the paint and showing the primer. So I've never done it before. I've watched a lot of videos on it and tried it or I've seen it done. Um, so I figure this would be a perfect opportunity to try it, but uh, we'll see. Um, might as well. Like I said, I want this to look a, like a used truck um, that you know the guy's doing everyday work with. It's maybe his everyday driver. Um, but he's taking care of it the most he can. It's not going to be beat up, banged up, missing a door, multicolor, or anything like that. But it's just his, you know, everyday truck, and he's just trying to take care of it the best he can. But, you know, it is what it is. Weather's taking its toll. So um, I'm going to go do some sub-assembly and some hand painting. Um, I'll bring you back and give you an update, and I'll bring you back into the booth when I do decide to put some um, paint on it. So I'll I'll see you guys soon. Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, quick update, uh, as you can see, there is some paint on the body. 
Uh, while I was filming that, I had some technical errors, so I do apologize about that, but we were able to get it done. Um, I think it came out pretty good. The cab came out good. You can see the interior is still, this area is still black. I got to do some touch-ups and, and correct some of the overspray. Um, so, but I think it came out pretty good. Uh, I still have to do the interior uh, to match the brown. So I'll mask that off and, and spray that as well. So i um, got to put some glass in it and then go from there. Um, the cab came out really good. So, like I said, I did spray, undercoat it with uh, hairspray on the rust color over top. So, hopefully, when I get to go in here and um, with a warm, warm water and a toothbrush or toothpick, I can start making some rust and kind of try that and see how that works. So... Uh, I decided, like I said, I wasn't going to go the chrome route, um, and I got, like, the bumpers, as you could see, Oop. as you could see, that flat white, so I think that'll look really good, and I did rust over that as well, so kind of make it look a little bit old and used. Um, center caps are the same way. Uh, interior, I did some weathering on that, I think it came out pretty decent. Like I said, it's not going to be, it's not totally destroyed, but, you know, it's probably in the, the mid-80s. He's been using this thing, he's had it the whole time. So over about 20 years, it's worn, it's a work truck. Uh, the details came out pretty pretty neat. Um, I did some weathering on the floorboard, show some dust and just overall stuff, you know. Uh, has that throw rug over the back. The decal actually went on pretty well. Um And it fits really, really good. So it actually cut right there on its own. So, which worked out, but I did weather that up in detail. So it matched like the guy's been sitting on it forever and using it. So, um, the chassis, like I said, got the motor installed. Uh, I did detail up that a little bit, got it looking a little greasy and dirty and used. Um, now the box called for the motor and the transmission to be the same color. Uh, in my world, this guy, uh, train changed out the transmission um, so obviously it doesn't match and that's why it's silver and not red. Um, got the exhaust on there. I'm going to rust that as well. Um, I still have to paint the tip. I did open up that with a drill, a little hand drill. Um, and then I have, to, once I get the wheels on and everything else, I'll do some dry brushing effects. So it looks like it's been weathered and used. Um, back to the interior, I still have to get the little, uh, steering wheel installed. So I think it came out pretty neat. Um, and I did use some reference photos to kind of give an idea of what the interior looks like. I do have to flat this, flat coat this, so it's not a, sh see all that? That's shine. That looks like a toy. Um, you do matte clear over top, and it dulls it down and makes it look a little bit more realistic. So um, still got a lot of work to do. Just wanted to give you a quick update. Uh, I don't know what color I'm going to do the, the tire, the wheels yet. I think I'm going to go black. I'm not sure. But um, I did uh, use some hairspray on this as well. So if I want to rust these up and give them a look, I might go white. I don't know. I think white would show more rust. Um, so I may go that way. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm undecided yet. So, um, yeah. So next next video uh, should be give you another update and close to completion. And then we'll uh, wrap it up. So see you guys soon. Hey, everyone. Uh, another quick update. So as you could tell, um, I've started doing some weathering on the body. Um, I still have a little bit more things to do, but we are almost done. So um, I'm going to get the cab mounted. Got to do a little bit more um, engine work and a couple things under the hood put on. Uh, side mirrors need to be put on, uh, bumpers, things like that, and then a little bit more weathering. So I'm not going to go into a lot of detail right now, just kind of give you an idea of where I was going with it and what it looks like as of right now. Um, and the final will be next. So I did decide to go uh, with the black wheels and not white walls. Um, I just didn't like the look. So yeah, so it's coming together pretty good. Um, so next update will be the final, the final reveal and my overall opinion of the kit. So I'll see you guys soon. Hey, welcome back for the final reveal. And as you can see, uh, quite a bit different from the last time you saw it. 
Um, I finished up weathering. I got some details in the, the truck bed, and I think it came out exactly what how I was wanting it to come out. An old farm truck that's been rusted and used up, but it's still still kicking, still going, and still serving its purpose. So um, as you can see, I did a lot of rust details. Um, I didn't want it completely rusted to where it looked like a, a big old can of rust, but um, just enough to, you know, to give it that little worn look. Um, I also have some dirt pigments on it, kind of give it that dusty old truck look. Um, if you could tell, I don't know if you could tell from the lighting here, but in the truck, I actually forgot to mount the rear view mirror as I pressed the cab together. And I said, well, you know what? It's gonna, it fell off or it broke off and he hasn't replaced it yet. So it's sitting inside on the bench and uh, he'll, he'll fix it when he can. He can turn around and look out the rear window. He doesn't need a rear view mirror as of right now. So um, you could see, you know, a little, uh, the side emblems a little bit met, uh, bent up and knocked off, has an old tarp in the back, some chicken wire, some fencing. Um, there's an old chain in the back. So I, I wanted the spare to sit back there because, you know, it just gave it a little bit more detail and look. Um, and I think the weather effects came out pretty good. Looks dusty and used. Um, the side mirror busted off. I guess when he was hauling something, he backed up, knocked it off. And well, it's he's not going to replace it because why is he going to put the money into it? Still works. It still runs and gets the job done. So I really like how it came out. It was exactly what I was shooting for. And I think it came out pretty good. Um, overall, the kit actually was pretty pretty good kit. It went together pretty smooth. Um, I'll show you guys what the engine looks like really quick. And I'll obviously have photos at the very end too to kind of explain or to give you a little bit more detail uh, up close. I know the camera right now is not you know zoomed in or anything. But um, everything on the kit went together well except the hood. The hood had some fit problems. It doesn't fit 100% perfect. Um, you can... F I wasn't able to get it exactly right, but I've seen some other people that have done this kit and they were able to fix it and make it look exact. Um, because this is an old truck and it's beat up, I had the rear bumper um, a little crooked. You know, having the hood not uh, fit perfectly on there just kind of gave it a little bit more character in my opinion. So I wasn't worrying about it too much. So it actually helps me that I kind of have a little bit of an issue. But overall, um, it was a good kit. It went together well, I enjoyed it. I liked working on it. Um, yeah, so and I think it came out pretty good. So, um, thanks for joining. Thanks for, uh, watching the video. Like I said, here in just a couple seconds, I'll have the final pictures and, uh, at the very end. So you can see and how this goes in just slides in like that. But, um, yeah, so have some final pictures, some close ups, and, um, don't forget to hit like subscribe and I'll have some more videos coming out soon. So thanks for stopping in. See you guys soon.